Hello, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I want to thank you for watching today. Guess what? Today's topic is give them the blues. And when I say give them the blues, I mean give them the blues in a good way. We have this blue beaded pocket pussy that is on sale right now for $19.99. And then we have the blowjob surprise bag that is also $19.99. But stay tuned, watch this live, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy the show. Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And today's topic is going to be give them the blues. So, when I say give them the blues, um, my version of giving them the blues is all of this great stuff. Um, blue represents peace. It represents trust. It represents um, so, it, so many positive things, okay? And that is what we want to give to our partner. We want to give them the blues, okay? So, as you can see, I'm wearing my shirt today. It says, it's the clip for me. Yes, cute. Um, I got this shirt from the Intimacy Firm. Uh, firm um, and this is actually a sweatshirt. So this came from the Intimacy Firm. That's their name on Instagram. Real cute. I believe in supporting other sex workers. So I just wanted to make sure I got some people on this live. All right. Looks like I got a good bit of people on here. We're going to get into it. Yes, 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 yes. So, the items that we're going to be talking about today is going to be, and both of these are actually $19.99 in the store. Great, great, great price. The Blowjob Surprise Bag comes with body chocolate, mm, fruity lubricant, mm, candy cock ring, mm, BJ Lottery Ticket. That's a Blowjob Lottery Ticket. BJ Vouchers, Blowjob Vouchers, and a Blindfold. All of that is in this kit for $19.99. Now, all my ladies who smart, y'all getting ready for Valentine's Day right now. Y'all are ready to start picking up your list stuff here and that other for your Valentine's Day. Because y'all know when the stuff come out, yeah, everybody going to be on it. But if you can get it on sale, why not get it on sale? Right. Then we have this. Now, I have a video that I'm going to be showing, okay, how to use this pocket pussy. Okay, you're going to lube it up. Now, the thing about this bundle, it's $19.99 too. This bundle comes with the pocket pussy. It comes with the gun oil lubricant to be able to lube it up and slide it on. And then it comes with a little cute little scratch off game for him. So when he scratches it off and it's telling you to... Give him whatever little treat, this, 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 that, the other. Now you got some help. This She your helper, okay? When you bringing toys into the bedroom, I don't ever want you to feel like toys are replacing you because they're not replacing you. They are just assisting you in what you're doing. And that goes the other way too. Men, when the woman bringing the toy into the bedroom, it's just assisting you. It's not replacing you. So you got your coupons. Now, this is one, two, three, four, five, six different scratch-offs. And the directions say, scratch one space per day, and your treat is my command. Scratch one space per day, and your treat is my command. So, it's going to tell you all kind of little stuff to do for him with your assistant. And, of course, I do have a video that will be added to this YouTube video to show you how to use the assistant. I hope y'all ready. Comes with the gun oil loop as well. So all of this is in the bundle for $19.99. Okay. So let me just say this. I have finally made up my mind. I have been praying about a lot of stuff. I've really been praying about 2021. Like in, in deep prayer. Meditating and praying. And... I have a few things that will happen this year. I will start uh, writing my book. And this book is going to be for ladies who are interested in marriage, who are interested in being a good wife. Um, a lot of times we think we know what it means to be a good wife. But even me at 40, a woman who has been married 23 years, Certain things are just being revealed to me about marriage and 
being a good wife. And the things that are that are, that are being revealed to me about marriage and being a good wife, no other woman taught it to me because I haven't seen it. And the thing is, because I haven't seen it, I never knew to do it. But what I experienced is what I call on-the-job training, meaning I did things, I messed up, I relearned trial and error. Because if anybody, a lot of times when I'm talking to women, a lot of women feel like they are not the problem. And the thing is, I'm not saying that you are the problem. But a lot of times what happens is a problem exists in your marriage. But we don't necessarily know how we got to that place. So some of the things that you might have been doing contributed to how you got to this place where now y'all have such a big problem. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to touch on all of that. So I don't know what I'm going to call the book, but that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be working on that. And I have been working on the curriculum for my wife school because I have decided that I'm going to do a wife school. And I hear so many women saying, why you don't do a husband school? Well, the thing is, I'm not necessarily, my, God didn't grace me to deal with husbands. God graced me to deal with wives. So I'm going to take the gift that he gave me and use it the way he intended for me to use it, which is dealing with the wives. When I accept women on my Facebook, when I accept um, friends on my Facebook, I accept women because I'm interested in dealing with the women. I'm not really in. I will deal with your husband along with you, but my gift is dealing with the woman. Okay. So with that being said, I had, I had something to become very real to me during this Christmas break. And what became very real to me was why men go get an outside woman. I completely, it just became plain to me. The reason that they're going to get the outside woman is because men need a feminine asset. And what is happening is when you are dating them and courting them before you get married and before you get the ring, you are the feminine asset in their life. But once you get the ring and get married and children come into the world and, you know, the dynamics of your marriage start to change, you, you no longer are the feminine asset. So that's what I want to teach. Because a lot of times people think that marriage is not hard work, that marriage does that it does not require a lot of uh, responsibility. But I'm here to tell you that marriage is a lot of hard work, a lot of responsibility. And in order to have success in it, in order to not constantly be hurt and disappointed, it's certain things that you have to do as a wife and also as a feminine asset. And that's the part that is missing. And you're wondering why the, why the husbands, and I'm not making excuses for the husbands. If you know, I'm not saying that, oh, you know, it's right for them to do this, that, the other. No, it's not right, but I'm telling you why. So if you want to know why, some of them are hoish, but a lot of them are looking for the feminine asset in their life because men have to have that. And when you change from the feminine asset and all of a sudden now you done put on, you, you're playing the role of his mama because all you're doing is cooking, cleaning, washing, and taking care of household chores. You, that's not what being a feminine asset is. And a lot of us get that confused when we get married. Those are chores. That is maintaining a household. That is not being a feminine asset. So that's what I want to teach in this wife school. Um, that I want to start. Don't even know what I want to call the wife school. Any, I don't know. But that's what I'm going to be going for, which is teaching you to be the feminine asset because a lot of women walking around and they feeling like they that nigga and no man no real man 
wants to come home to a woman who thinks that she's that nigga. Yes. Some of the things that I, I see posted on social networking, it is it's horrible. Horrible. Um, but those are some of the things that I want to teach about. Um, the next thing that I want to let you know is the oral sex training class is filling up. We still have some spaces available. So you can go to the website and register for that. You see the website at the bottom, www.dppgstore.com. After that is going to be Valentine's Day. We're going to get off into that. If COVID is under control, we will have March Madness. If COVID is not under control, we will be refunding for March Madness. And I'm hoping to start my wife's school in April, right before the wedding season. Why would I want to start the wife's school in April? Because I want you to be prepared for marriage because there's certain things. And I'm going to just be honest with you. If marriage counseling, if, if the premarital counseling worked, if it worked, then the divorce rates wouldn't be so high. And the thing is, I know that I'm going to be touching on things that they too scared to talk about in premarital counseling. So I'm basically, and then premarital counseling is dealing with you and him and all of this. I just want to deal with you. That way when you start seeing certain shit going astray, you know what to do because you've been taught. You know what to do. You know how to pull it back. You know what to do. Okay? Um, and the last thing, I had someone to inbox me. And it's just word for word. And she basically said that when she's having sex, that it is painful. That um, she has went to the doctor. The doctor has basically checked her. She said that, you know, I noticed that you are really sensitive, but you got a full workup. All of your labs came back. Nothing is wrong with you. So you contacted me, sweetheart, and you asked Sharonda what could possibly be the problem. So let me give you some different things that could be the problem. You could be having sex with condoms and you may be allergic to condoms and you're experiencing what's called a latex allergy, which will cause you to feel a lot of pain during sex. The other thing is, um, oh, you said your doctor recommended foreplay. You said that you really didn't know what foreplay was. Well, one, I recommend you use lubricant, but basically what foreplay does is it gets your body warmed up. Foreplay is, I'm going to tell you what he should be doing to you for foreplay. Foreplay is sucking on your neck, your ears, your breasts, your eating pussy, like all in the inside of your thighs, just basically touching all over your body, getting you warmed up to the point where you begging for him to put it in. See, when you when you having the right type of foreplay, at that point, you're like, all of this good, but come on and put that dick on me. See, that's the type of foreplay that you need, okay? And you should be um, using some type of lubricant. In your case, being that you're saying that you're having all kinds of issues, I recommend the organic lubricant uh, by WET. It's called WET Organics. The reason I'm recommending WET Organics is because WET Organics has an aloe vera base in it. So that means it's nothing, it's all completely natural. The main ingredient in this lubricant is aloe vera. Okay. So with that being said, I think I touched on what foreplay, making sure that you're not allergic to the condoms. If you have a latex allergy, uh, try lambskin. They still make lambskin condoms. So try lambskin condoms. Um, I see some, I'm, I'm looking, but I see KY. I don't recommend KY. KY is used by doctors in the doctor's office. KY is intended for short-term interaction. When you go to the doctor, it's very short. When they open, they tell you, uh, baby, open your legs up, slide to the bottom. They put the KY on the little thing. They slide it up inside of you, swab around, do what they got to do. Coming back out, the whole process might take a minute. I know y'all having sex longer than a minute. So KY is not going to last throughout the duration of time that you need it to last. KY is one of the bottom of the barrel lubricants that you could use. I like high quality lubricants because I don't like to have to keep stopping during sex to reapply lubricant. Okay. So again, for me, 
I don't like KY. That's not one that I like. I'm just looking at some of the comments down at the bottom uh, for my people that's on my Facebook Live. Um, so again, um, I told you, check, check the comments. Make sure you don't have a latex allergy. Make sure you're doing foreplay. Make sure you are using lubricant every time that you have sex. The next thing you can do is start taking a probiotic, a daily probiotic. Um, they sell them at Walmart. You can find them from anywhere. They even have the ones with cranberry in it for the people that constantly keep getting UTIs. Um, probiotics are really good, and that basically helps with vaginal health overall. So probiotics are awesome to use. And the last thing that I would recommend is doing a yogurt dish. Yogurt is a probiotic. And basically what you're doing is you're coating the vaginal canal with that yogurt, which is a healthy probiotic. Um, and again, if you feel like um, sex is uncomfortable and you're not enjoying it, stop. Stop. Stop and redirect to something else. In other words, if, pen if penetration is bothering you, you all can still have sex. You just won't be having sex with penetration up until you can get your body to where you're not so sensitive. It may take those probiotics about two to three weeks to get in your system for you to really start seeing the difference in them. Um, and I think that was it. That was the question that I had. Okay, lastly, lick me. In the inside, please. Now, you want some foreplay? You can definitely get this to your partner. Get this to him. Lick me, please. And it has all types of different lubricants in the inside, massage oil, and some stuff for, um, this one is called Kissable Foreplay Oil of Love. And this one is Love Liquid Lubricant. So this one is a lubricant, this one is a body top, and this one is a massage oil. It's three different things up in here, three different samples. And it tells you about four different sex positions that you can try. These are $9.99 here at the PPG store for the um, greeting cards. They are on the website as well. So that is going to conclude Sex Talk with Sharonda. Again, be on the, well, of course, the oral sex training class is already on my website. I am currently writing the curriculum for the um, the wife school. I don't necessarily know what I'm going to call it. Um, because the, when I say wife school, a lot of people think that you already have to be married. And then a lot of times when I say wife, I understand that some people don't want um, marriage again because I'm one of them people. If my marriage, if anything was to ever happen with me and Spencer, I'm one of them people. I don't, I don't want to be married again. And not that I don't love marriage. I think marriage is a beautiful thing. But I also know because I am a wife and because I am a very good wife, I understand the responsibility that comes along with marriage. So if for whatever reason, if you know he was to leave here or it just didn't work out. I probably wouldn't get married again because it is such a great responsibility. And then another thing is I don't know if I want to take the time to 20 years to learn somebody else because in 20 years I'm still learning my husband. So I don't know if I want another 20 years to learn somebody else, but it doesn't mean that I wouldn't want companionship. So when I say wife school, it kind of eliminates people who just want companionship and want to be a really good companion. And then um, sometimes when you say wife school, that makes same-sex couples feel like, well, this, this isn't for me. So I'm praying about a name because it, it's the, 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 the basic format is about being a wife or a really good companion. But I don't know. I'm still working on a name. But just know that I am writing the curriculum right now. Because another thing, this is not a class that you're going to take for one day. This is going to be a four-week class. So, yes, you will be with me one day out the week for four weeks. So, certain things about it I know will happen. Like, I know it's going to take me about four weeks. I know that it's going to actually be a curriculum. I know that you're going to have book and workbooks and all of this kind of stuff. So, it's just, a, it's, it's just me taking the time to put it together. And it will be virtual. I do know that. So I'm just kind of putting it all together at this point. And even if you've been married for a long period of time and you feel like, you know, I'm married, but this marriage is like literally on the verge of being nothing and it's about to dissolve. 
If you want to just take one last look at it again before you throw in the towel, then this may be, be something that you would want to attend as well. Because I've been to that point in marriage to where I'm just like, you know what, this shit just ain't, it ain't working. And I'm just ready to throw in the towel. And, you know, it took a lot of prayer and it took a lot of us coming together and really addressing what our real issues were. Because I tell people, everybody problem ain't cheating. Everybody think the problem, everybody leaving it. Oh, they're going to separate from cheating. No, people, people cheat, they stay together. That ain't, that ain't the problem. It'd be some other shit going on sometimes. There's a lot bigger than cheating. And I know a lot of y'all feel like cheating is about as bad as it can get. But I promise you, there's other shit that is way, 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 way worse than that. In my opinion. I'm just saying in my opinion. Um. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. So you all be blessed. Don't forget, these are both on the website under featured items for $19.99. And if you have not seen, like all of my people who favorite color is blue. If blue is your favorite color, this month you should be shopping at the PPG store. Because we have our Blue Angel collection. If you ever wanted the blue crotchless panties have been marked down to uh, $10. Um, we have the whole Blue Angel collection. We have other plus size lingerie in blue. So if blue is your color, if blue is your man color, if blue is just what you love, and I'm talking about this color blue, this royal blue, you need to be shopping at the PPG store this month because guess what? January 31st, you're not going to see no blue. It's going to, on February 1st, it will be red because Valentine's Day will be in full effect. So take advantage of the blue. Y'all know I only order blue one time out the year, and that is for the month of January. I only do blue one time a year. So if blue is your color, come get you some blue. We got it here at the PPG store. All right, you all be blessed. You all be safe. Please like, share, and subscribe. And for those of you all who are interested in the tutorial for this beaded pocket pussy, stay tuned because it's about to come up next. Be blessed. Hello, everyone. My name is Sharonda Parker. I'm your sex toy queen located here at the PPG store in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today, we're going to be talking about the beaded pocket pussy. This is the packaging that you're looking for. Right now, it's on sale for $19.99. Regular price, $29.99. But I'm trying to get y'all ready for this 4th of July vacation weekend. So this is the beaded pocket pussy, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, it's really great if you use some flavored lubricant. We have this as well as Rattles. It comes in strawberry and green apple. And we also have the um, the wet desserts line. So any type of flavored lubricant is going to be great. And I'm going to tell you or teach you about sucking and fucking him at the same time. Because, see, y'all bitches got to learn to save your jaws, okay? Y'all get to sucking dick for all this long period of time. Fucking neck get to hurting. Mouth get dry. Jaws get locked up. I'm going to teach you how to save your fucking jaws, okay? That way he could get what he could get without breaking you down in the process. So, of course, you know, I had to go to the local high neighbor and go get my fruits because when I get to using dildos, everybody gets so offended. So, I'm going to show you how now. If you look at this pocket pussy, it actually got vaginal lips. The bitch opens up, okay? So, what you're going to do, and I just, I love to watch this shit myself. Now, you lube it up real good, and you're going to take, and you're going to just basically insert. Now, I got beads in it, Okay? So you're going to insert, 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 and you can see, oh yeah, she taking the whole thing. She taking the whole thing. Oh, oh, oh. Now look, I want you to pay attention. You see these beads? They got beads all over it. Beads everywhere. Now these beads feel good to him because see inside your pussy, your pussy don't have beads. But this one do, okay? So the beads is just another type of stimulator that you can use. And the great thing about this is his head comes out on the other end. So basically, the pussy, the pussy done wrapped all around his dick. But you still got the head out. Now, this part is for you, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to suck and fuck him at the same time. You're going to take and you're going to take and stroke to massage these beads all around. You see that? How I'm massaging these beads all around. And bitch, you're going to be sucking the head at the same time. But you got this good flavor lubricant on them. Now, again, I would love to suck this cucumber for you right now as if it was a dick but i know that some people are gonna get offended about this video so you're gonna have to use your own imagination and you're gonna have to come to my dick sucking class to see me do it in person 
But you're going to take and you're going to stroke up and down. You see that? Y'all see that? How I'm stroking up and down? Don't that look like it feels so good? Oh, yeah. And you see, she's doing it ever so gently. And like, why is, why are you doing it like that? You're going to be sucking the head at the same time. So you're going to suck him and fuck him at the same time. But you're going to save your neck and your jaws and all of that. You ain't got to be worried about getting all locked up by the jaws. Because she's going to do some of the work for you. You ain't got to do all the work by yourself no more. 